Hey, welcome to another video. Now I'm going to talk about propaganda and and how we as society, humans, people, sheeple are, are pitted against each other. This is very visible in the US where you have Biden and, and Trump, Republican and Democrats. Uh, but it's the same thing everywhere. It's the same way everywhere. Um, and this is just so sad because it's like they're creating this circus, making everyone occupied with this election, and they get this feeling about doing their duty to vote. And uh, yeah, I matter, right? I made a vote, I make a change for four years. And it's like, it's so ridiculous. You're not voting on, on specific topics, you're voting on this party. And these parties, they never keep what they promise. It happens over and over again, but they keep going. And it's because you're stupid. You are, f you are stupid. There, there's no other way of saying this. You're not paying attention. You're, uh, you've been indoctrinated by government schools to believe that the state is a good thing and you should support it no matter what. Your democracy, republic or whatever type of system you're living under. Everyone loves their own state. It's like probably 95% of all people in all different countries, they're fairly happy. I know that um, many different countries does not have the same trust in their state and government officials as they do in Norway and maybe the US and other countries. There's a lot of other countries where they have complete distrust in the government. And then I think like, in a way that's positive and good, but I also think like, we shouldn't hate one another. We should only have love and, and respect for each other in a way, at least up to a point where people show that, that they're absolutely evil and they want to jail you just because you speak your mind or if because you built an extension to your house and your neighbor want to get a picture to the area for that reason. So it is all about this game and propaganda of making you believe that you, you, you can make a difference by voting, you can make a difference by engaging in politics. And again and again, we see that these politicians, they're corrupt they're, stealer, st they're stealers, like they steal stuff, uh, both personally and obviously from from people. And then, oh, I'm contradicting myself if you hear. Like I said, taxation is not theft. And then I'm saying the government is stealing from you. So, yeah, we can't, all of us can't always be 100%, uh, it's called, yeah, coherent in a way. But, uh, um, I just uh, want to say that it's important to sort of understand that there's this system going on of putting, pitting people up against each other, to keep them up occupied, to not see the truth for what, what it really is, for, to see the systems, to see the government, to see the state, to see how uh, corporatism is working in, in the world where where big business is colluding together with the government to, to oppress the little man, to oppress you and me, to oppress the sheeple like you and me. And um, that's, uh, that's a tough one. And that's also part of why I'm making these videos. It's like, we're just gonna reach out to a single person that enjoy this content and maybe get them to change their mind or maybe just get them to move to a free city like Liberstad here in Norway then this is, that's worth all the effort. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just like, it is, um, I've always been a contrarian in a, in a sense, if that's a proper use of that word, in that I, I don't follow the flow. I don't follow the narrative. I like to, step outside of my own opinions sometimes and play the devil's advocate as well. I take a, the other person's per perspective and position. And that's a very useful thing in life because you, you see some insight that you might not otherwise gain if you're just following, uh, following the line in a sense uh, all the time.
Um, so, and I think like it's my friends and colleagues feedback I've gotten is that they they think that's some like a positive trait of me that I I bring some fresh insight on various things and this is not just on life philosophy it's on like technology and other things that I'm into and uh, here <sighs> yeah just beware uh, have a tip a good tip at the end here uh, and that is to stop reading news completely don't watch any news not on TV not on your computer or your gadgets no no news websites quit it today cold turkey never go in there again like something happened with Iran and stuff and then Bitcoin price fell right I don't really know all the details about this and then you have this conflict down in with Palestine and Israel right don't feel you had with all this negative bad horrible stuff it's not bringing you any positive effects at all uh, there's so little you can do to change this it's not your problem right there's so much problems in the world everywhere and the media they just focus on a few topics because it's limited airtime there's limited stuff uh, on their website and limited room in your brain to adopt these things so they're, they're filtering and censoring and picking the crisis that you should care about and that you should know about just stop it all you will be so much more happy I haven't read news in 15 more years more than 15 years I think uh, I sometimes go into new sites of course once in a while but it's like I used to do it all the time, multiple times a day, just to see, oh, what's going on, what's going on. Especially after like 9-11, that uh, sort of, uh, the whole world got on a heightened level of alertness. We had the same thing here in Norway with the uh, um, attack uh, in Oslo and Utøya. It's like, don't get fooled or tricked into watching this news. Just stop it, do something else, go into the forest like I'm doing, care. Clear your mind, be with your kids, be with your partner, be with your friends, go out, hang out, do whatever, right? Just don't fucking read the news. I promise you, you will be so happy. Okay, it's not a long video, but please excuse me. Okay, I love you all. Peace and love and take care.